Well, Ghostbusters Afterlife took on the box office this weekend and won. The latest installment of the franchise exceeded all expectations, which could be an indication of what's ahead for upcoming holiday releases. Here with a look at what's coming to theaters this Thanksgiving is my buddy, one of our favorite human movie trailers of all time, and senior editor at Fandango, Mr. Eric with a K. David. <laughs> What's up, OG? You know, nothing much, Eric with a K. I was really down before, but then I heard you were coming on, and that's why I'm all excited. So because we had two new releases over the weekend, Ghostbusters Afterlife and King Richard, and we already talked about Ghostbusters taking the top spot. So did, did the weekend report surprise you in any way, or did you see it coming? No, I think it's great. You know, I think especially for Ghostbusters Afterlife, uh, the key message to get out about that film is that it's a really great family film, especially as we enter this holiday week. The kids are going to be off of school. And if any parents have questions on whether or not this film is family friendly, because the first two Ghostbusters, not as family friendly as this one. It has a bunch of kids at the heart of the film. It's all about family legacy. And so it is a big recommendation for me, especially if you have those kids and you want to get them out of the house. All right. And then for King Richard, uh, it's also helps that it's also streaming as well, because it's in theaters and streaming. Yeah, and yeah, and the big note about King Richard is it didn't do as well at the box office this past weekend, but this is a film that's going to do well with great word of mouth. It's going to be a major Best Picture Oscar contender as well as a Best Actor Oscar contender for Will Smith. And it's a fantastic sports movie, the story of Venus and Serena Williams. So watch this film however you can because it's going to be one that a lot of people are buzzing about come Oscar time. All right, so on your list, we have Encanto, we have Come On, Come On, we have House of Gucci and Licorice Pizza. We have a clip of Encanto, and then we'll discuss. What are you doing? Uh, they were just asking about the family and... She was about to tell us about her super awesome gift! Oh, Mirabel didn't get one. You didn't get a gift? Um... Mirabel! Delivery! Eric with a K, that has all the ingredients necessary to make a huge hit, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I mean, look at the year that Lin-Manuel Miranda is having. He created a lot of the music for Encanto. He also was involved with In the Heights. Tick, Tick, Boom, which is his directorial debut, mm -hmm. is also out on Netflix right now. Uh, Encanto is about this family. They all have magical powers, except for this one girl, Mirabel. Uh, and then, but, but she may be able to help her family when the magic surrounding them becomes in trouble. Uh, Stephanie Beatriz, John Leguizamo are the voices. Uh, and like I said, Lin-Manuel created to the music. Uh, this is over 90% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes as well. So another great family film to watch over the Thanksgiving holiday. All right, so let's then talk House of Gucci, which everyone says Lady Gaga should just like dust off her mantle because an Oscar might be in her future. Another Oscar, I should say. So we have a peek and then we'll chat. You want to keep selling coffee mugs in airports? Is that your legacy? It's time to take out the trash. Ardo and Paolo, they're poison. They're an embarrassment to this company, and everybody knows it. Well, you're Eric with a K. Davis, so I'm sure you've seen this one, haven't you, Eric with a K. Davis? Not only have I seen this, but I actually got to hang out with Lady Gaga and talk to her about that role. And she, like, studied animals in order to kind of get the different behaviors for the different kinds of, you know, ways that she was going to perform as uh, Patrizia. But this is fantastic. A different kind of family film. This family all backstab each other and betray each other. Uh, but it's a wild real-life story. If you are familiar with the Gucci brand and you're a fan, maybe you own something of Gucci, but you don't know this story, Go watch this movie. Plus, it's got an amazing cast. Al Pacino, Adam Driver, uh, Sama Hayek. It's just the list goes on. And Jared Leto, who also has this transformation in this film. I think him and Lady Gaga will be uh, up for Oscars. Eric, Eric with a K. Davis, it's always a pleasure talking movies with you. You have to come back. Let's talk more even before Christmas releases. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll, we'll see you soon, okay?